Pa hwyl a chroeso i'r cyfluniad yma ar gynnwys cwrs tygau Cymraeg Aileri. Hello and welcome to this presentation on the content of the Welsh Second Language GCSE. Here at Ysgol Eirias, Welsh Second Language has been taught successfully for years. Since 2014, over 90% of students entered for the qualification have achieved a C grade or higher. Not bad when you consider that all GCSE students are entered for the qualification. Welsh is a core subject at Escalarias, therefore all sub students will be required to study the language. I'd like to begin by taking you through the GCSE course itself. 50% of the course is oral work, as explained here, Units 1 and Units 2. The remaining 50% is reading and writing, Unit 3 and 4. As you can see, it's a varied course where regardless of your ability, you certainly get the opportunity to exercise and gain a wealth of skills. Those students who have followed the Carlan course at Key Stage 3 will complete all four units in Year 10 before progressing to the Welsh Second Language AS in Year 11. For more information about how this works, please speak to your current Welsh teacher. So here's a little bit more information about each unit. Unit one, 25% of the overall GCSE. You usually sit this in March or April of year 11. For this unit, you will work with a partner or in a group of three discussing a range of topics discussed by characters in a short video clip. The exam will be led and assessed by your Welsh teacher. Unit two is very similar to unit one. 25% of the overall GCSE and usually sat a week or two after you've done Unit 1 in March or April of Year 11. The difference here is that you respond to information presented on a sheet of paper, pictures, diagrams, written comments and adverts. Again, the exam will be led and assessed by your Welsh teacher. Unit 3 is a one and a half hour written exam which you sit in May of year 11. Here, the main focus is more on reading and the kind of language you'd use in the workplace. Unit four, another one and a half hour written exam. And this is where you get the opportunity to be creative. In this exam, you could be asked to write articles, diaries, emails, and essays on topics ranging from Wales and the world, world of work and youth. A question I'm sometimes asked is, what is the point in learning Welsh? Fact is, Welsh is a growing language, a language which is quickly regaining its place in our everyday lives. Welsh language skills are desirable whether you work in Wales or not. Clearly, having a high level of fluency in the language will be a huge benefit for those who work in Wales in the future, but also for those who might work over the border and beyond. Studying the Welsh Whilst GCSE gives students a particular skill set which universities and employers actively seek when recruiting. You may not be able to speak the language in a major English city, but you will put the skills learned to use every day. So the misconceptions then. Let's get a few things straight. If I study Welsh, universities outside Wales won't recognise the qualification. Nope, this is wrong. I have personally made calls to leading universities in the past and they confirmed that this certainly is not the case. If you're going to study a language, you're far better studying off French or German. No, not at all. Studying any language offers a huge range of benefits. And if you decide to study French or German as well as Welsh, then this can only be a good thing. If you study Welsh, you're not going to be able to use it past A level if you don't choose it as a degree subject. Again, no. Many students who studied Welsh with us years ago have said that they have found that Welsh has proved beneficial for them in their current jobs and courses. When you study the compulsory Welsh GCSE, we can guarantee you that you will be well taken care of. You'll be taught by a supportive, experienced and dynamic team of teachers. You'll be studying a course which will give you many advantages in the future. And you'll be studying an exciting language with a bright and exciting future. 
definitely something you'd want to be part of. Remember, if you have any questions, please get in touch. Diolch